this was an issue for me before anybody got disenrolled. I like it, what uh, some of them were saying. We, we have to think about what our future will be, you know, for our grandchildren. That, these two, these, this couple right here, perfect. We're here talking about this because we want to make a way for our grandkids. I will not settle for this. I don't even care if, it, if, it, if my efforts are not fruitful, my grandkids aren't going to say, my, my grandfather stood for this, because I didn't. I want evidence that I didn't stand for this. I want evidence that I try to stand up, you know, like our people. Why, how do we lose our language? I'm really proud when I go to the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, there's Lakotas that won't even speak English. They won't give up on that. They can, but they won't. You've met people like that, right? They're beautiful because they didn't give up. And I'm all about that. I'm not about hating on them. I'm all about love. But if we give you that love, give it back because we belong here. Um, the issues, there's one of the issues in fighting over the pie, money, you covered allocation of resources, corruption, untraceable lineage, paperwork unfilled. Um, paperwork unfilled? My, my father's not on my birth certificate. My ex, my kids' mom's calling me up. Can you make sure you get that filled out? Mark used to be my boss at the Indian Health Board. I, I kick butt, man. I work 24 hours plus doing all my stuff. You got to do the paperwork, Robert. You got to do the paperwork. I said, Mark, I'm kicking butt, man. I'm picking up kids from a homeless center at 5 in the morning. Who else is going to do that? Well, nobody, Robert. But you got to do the paperwork. You know, that's even in our work. I, I don't have the paperwork filled out for me, and I'm a living person telling you this. So I believe those people when they say they're their own ancestors didn't fill out the paperwork right. I believe them, because I, I guess I, I might die tomorrow and my paperwork's not filled out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, I'm not doing it. So I'm gonna give this mic over to him and you guys are to talk about the issues. We got about 15 more minutes. Now let's, let's let you guys put something out there that's really specific to enrollment, okay? Specific. So glad that Robert hit it right on the head because the experience of Nooksack and Annie George, um, when you put your, your ancestor's name out there, your chest gets big, take pride in it. But this disenrollment did not do that from my heart because of my husband and his family, my children. It made it like, she was like, nobody. But as we fight the fight, not physically fight, but emotionally, spiritually, fight the fight, I just feel that her blessed name is now rising for the good. And this family fought so hard and is still fighting today, where we are all been doing this fundraising to take care of this bill. In order for this to happen, we gotta have this little green thing to make these doors open up to help us. So we had to, we did the, the, the places down here to look for the, the, the paperwork, Robert, we went up to Canada, and then we came to the solution that the biggest um, library with the, all the information held at is in Utah. So we sat down as a family and we talked about what we're gonna do about this. So we had some money come in and we had to decide. Find some friends, find your connection, please help out with flights, you know, and we did that. We got three flights. That's good. One brother said, man, I got a new truck. Great. But I need the fuel to go in that truck. So sure enough, there were some funds came in. They jumped in that rig and they hauled butt all the way to Salt Lake City. They stayed there for seven days. I think one day was closed. But those guys were in there from AM until they kicked them out. They even had one of the, the family members, they forgot about her in this 
closed in area and she was stuck in there because the door's locked. So there's, they start counting heads. Hey, where's little June, you know? And there she was. There you guys left me. But the blessing part was when I was hearing the story and, and I said, honey, I said, man, I, we gotta find some stuff on this, you know? On paper, that's what I was kinda, I wanna see this on paper. They got a hold of us. I got sick, so I couldn't go on the, on the road trip. But got a hold of us, and thank God for these little thing called cell phones. Because they were in there, they found this one particular document, and they shot it, and they shot it to us. And when I looked at it, my husband, he looks at it, and he goes, look at this. And just tears flowing down on both of our faces because we seen her name written on there with her mom and dad, and she was eight years old. She wasn't enrolled in the States, but she was in Canada. And they made it sound like she didn't exist. But for some reason, that doggone document, it just conformed to me that you cannot dictate where one is going to live, where one is going to raise his or her family. I'm Samoan. I was raised back in the island. But as a woman, as a young woman, grew up here in the States, raised my family here on the reservation, am I a less Samoan? No, I'm not. I'm as full as can be. But my children, they thought I was crazy when I did this in a California trip. I love visors. Today, you guys look at I've got my visor on. But the visor, I took it, and I had this thing printed it on there. And the kids were like, oh, no, Mom, no, you know. I said, hush. You know what it said? It said, Sam Hawa Endopino Meoli. That's what it said. They were like, what is that? Ethnicity diversity, honoring our ancestors that came before us. And that was Samoan, Hawaiian, Indian, Filipino, and African American. Take America out of it. Just African. I am here to listen, to get a lot of wisdoms from all of you. But I want you to know that, Robert, this was a great meeting. And I'm glad to hear everybody's uh, stories. But I wanted you to know that this family, this Nooksack family, is not going to go away. And I pray to the good Lord that all our Native brothers and sisters around can hear our call and put a prayer out there for them. Thanks, you guys. Would anyone like to speak to question, comment, based on what you've heard? Okay.